Hi, this is Cher Pindarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this concise video, we will explore texture brushes. Texture brushes allow you to add textures to your images using the color and luminance of a source image, the texture. At this time, there are two categories of texture brushes, texture cover and texture source blending. We'll go up here to the brush selector and as you see right now texture cover is chosen with the variance and right below we have texture source blending and its variance. To make the brushes easy to demonstrate I've made a small custom palette with a few of my favorite texture cover and texture source blending variants. Texture cover brushes are exciting to use when making composite or collage images. Used in low opacities and painted with light pressure, texture cover brushes can paint subtle texture effects. And we'll have a look at it right now. I have the texture cover airbrush chosen. And in the painter textures panel here, I have the peeling paint texture chosen. And I'm going to use a very light pressure and I'm going to brush on the texture using the airbrush variant of texture cover. I just want to point out that I have the default layout chosen and when I chose the texture cover airbrush variant I had access to show or hide the texture brushes panel here in the extended property bar. I also have access to the advanced brush controls if I want to look at brush settings and I can show and hide the general panel. We're going to talk about some of the settings of the brushes as we work. The airbrush variant of textured cover uses a computed circular dab type, single stroke type, method is texture, subcategory is texture. I just want to point out here that the opacity is very low, 9%. If we increase this to 100%, and I'm going to pick up my stylus again, paint some strokes on the sky, you'll see that with this texture brush, we're able to completely cover the sky if we so wish. And we're getting the color of the texture. We can completely paint this in if we so desire. As you can see, this texture brush has a lot of flexibility from subtle effects to bolder effects for your composites. Texture cover brushes can apply texture, color, and value to an empty canvas or an image as we just saw here with my painting. On the other hand, texture source blending brushes can apply color or value luminosity to an image. And for these brushes to work as designed, they need to have an image to see the brush stroke. Now let's paint with a texture source blending brush. And as you see in my little custom palette right here, I have texture source blending and I'm going to click on the soft luminance. And let's just take a peek at the brush selector here. You see texture source blending is chosen and the soft luminance variant is chosen. Now up here the opacity is set to 100% and I have a texture here that is the rough texture. So we're going to see 100% of this and it's going, it's painting with method of texture subcategory of texture luminance. So I'm just going to lower the opacity down to under 10% and you see we get a more subtle look with the soft luminance. Next we'll have a look at the captured tinted texture variant of texture source blending. And I have a different texture chosen. This is the veins texture and it has a reddish color to it. So if we look here, the method is texture and subcategory is texture and source is color. So I'm just going to paint and you'll see the reddish color come up here. 
and I'm pressing very lightly on the stylus. These are just a few of the amazing effects that are possible with the texture brushes, both texture cover and texture source blending categories. Dig in and explore the variants in both of these categories. Enjoy Painter and happy painting! Thank you.